This is Bishop George Murray. On behalf of your Catholic friends and neighbors in the Diocese of Youngstown, I invite you to join us for this celebration of the Holy Mass. Good morning, everyone. We started with a very vibrant vibe this morning, so that means we're going to be excited as we come together as the family of God, which is our emphasis again this morning. We thank all of you joining us here in our chapel and those who are joining us over our ecumenical channel here in Northeast Ohio. And as we come together, we come together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord have, Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. A great king am I, 
says the Lord of hosts, and my name will be feared among the nations. And now, O priest, this commandment is for you. If you do not listen, if you do not lay it to heart to give glory to my name, says the Lord of hosts, I will send a curse upon you, and of your blessing I will make a curse. You have turned aside from the way and have caused many to falter by your instruction. You have made void the covenant of Levi, says the Lord of hosts. I, therefore, have made you contemptible and base before all the people, since you do not keep my ways, but show partiality in your decisions. Have we not the one Father? Has not one God created us? Why then do we break faith with one another, violating the covenant of our fathers? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, my heart is not proud, nor are my eyes haughty. I busy not myself with great things, nor with things too sublime for me. In you, O Lord, I have found my peace. Nay, rather, I have stilled and quieted my soul like a weaned child, like a weaned child on its mother's lap, so is my soul within me. In you, O Lord, I have found my peace. Israel, hope in the Lord, both now and forever. In you, O Lord, I have found my peace. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, we were gentle among you as a nursing mother cares for her children. With such affection for you, we were determined to share with you not only the gospel of God, but our very selves as well. So dearly beloved, had you become to us. You recall, brothers and sisters, our toil and drudgery, working night and day in order not to burden any of you. We proclaim to you the gospel of God. And for this reason, we too give thanks to God unceasingly that in receiving the word of God from hearing us, you received not a human word, but as it truly is, the word of God, which is now at work in you. Who believe. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Alleluia. <laughs> I have 
Come that you may all know more of life. Taste it all and take it on into tomorrow. be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees have taken their seat on the chair of Moses. Therefore do and observe all things whatsoever they tell you, but do not follow their example. For they preach, but they do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens hard to carry and lay them on people's shoulders, but they will not lift a finger to move them. All their works are performed to the be seen. They widen their phylacteries and lengthen their tassels. They love places of honor at banquets, seats of honor in synagogues, greetings in marketplaces, and the salutation, Rabbi. As for you, do not be called Rabbi. You have but one teacher, and you are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father. You have but one father in heaven. Do not be called master. You have but one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. As I've been mentioning the last couple of weeks, we have the energy within the congregation that gets us excited about the Lord, gets us excited about coming together. Last week, I talked about the Pauline family and the 10 groups that made up the Pauline family, and I like to sort of continue that theme of family here this morning. And the family we are talking about is not only the family that we belong to, our nuclear family, we might say, but the family of God, of which we all are. And so we are here celebrating as a family. And of course, as most families, most of us, when we come to a celebration of the Eucharist or the celebration of a table uh, gathering, usually we all end up sitting in the same places every week, right? So we do that. I always tell the story of my sister. My sister is left-handed, and she and I sat next to each other for about 10 years knocking arms and just realized after about 10 years if we just switch places then we wouldn't have that problem because she would be using this arm and I would be using this one we would be okay so when we come together we're unified as the people of God because our messages today in our scripture are about family about leadership about guidance about compassion and love for other people in the prophet Malachi the God is speaking to his priest he says, you guys need to be speaking about the glory of God, but you're not talking about the glory of God. You're talking your own message. You're driving people away from the Lord. And so therefore, what you think is going to be a blessing is now going to become a curse. I'm not going to have you winning people over for you. You're going to win people over for me, God. And so he challenges the priests to change the way they do things so that they will bring people back to the covenant relationship that they have with the Lord. Jesus addresses the same thing with the Pharisees in today's gospel. He says the Pharisees are great teachers. They know the law. They know the Torah. They know the catechism. They know the teaching of the church. But don't follow their example because they like to be dressed in fancy clothes. They like to have the title father. They like to have the title brother. They like to have the title sister, or doctor, or professor, or nurse, or whatever. They want to be in places of authority, and that's the focus rather than the focus on Jesus Christ. 
So if we are the ones who are part of a family, if we are the ones who are the guides, if we are the parents and the grandparents and the teachers and the people, we need to embrace and show the love of Jesus Christ for one another. And that's what St. Paul addresses in his letter this morning. He says, I've been like a nursing mother. And we know how close the nursing mother is to her infant. There's that compassion, there's that love, that's their physical contact. And he says, this is the way I'm approaching you. I'm in this physical contact. I want to be with you. I want to guide you. He says, I'm working for you night and day. And how many images we have of single parents, especially single mothers who are working night and day to keep their family going and to provide for their needs. So he says, I'm looking after you as my family, as the people of God. And so that's what we are called to do, is look at the church and to look at ourselves within our families, how we care for one another. So this morning, I'd like to just share a few examples uh, from Chiara Lubick. Chiara Lubick is the founder of the Focolari Movement. The Focolari Movement is an international uh, organization that brings people together, uh, various races, cultures, backgrounds, vocations, and they preach unity, peace, and reconciliation. And she died about 10 years ago. But she writes about how we are to be a family. And she says to be a family, we need to practice, practice, practice. And she offers us a number of things for us to reflect upon. She says, what if a person is having a spiritual crisis in their life? He says, well, then we need to try to understand what that spiritual crisis is all about. We need to pray with them. We need to give them the warmth of our family. We need to be near them, journey with them, and try to help them through their problems with their prayer. And I've had a number of people that have come to me in many ways and say, you know, my prayer is not working. I come to Mass every Sunday. I do my holy hours. I read my prayer book, and it's just not working. Well, maybe they're on that down part of their journey. They need to be encouraged. They need to be moved forward. And so, therefore, we need to be the ones that walk with them and give that sense of family. She says, what if somebody's in physical pain? So we try to understand their pain, try to understand their suffering. In some cases, we may be able to because we may have the same pain and discomfort that they have. If not, at least try to understand, to be with them, walk with them. What do they need? How can we pray for them? Realize that uh, we're asking them to offer their suffering for us and what we're doing in our own lives. Listen to them. If they get angry, if they're upset, be with them. Listen, pay attention. But we are there to be as a presence of family. She says, what if someone is about ready to die and know that they are dying? She says, let's try to put ourselves in their place. What if we know that we have a limited time left here on this earth? How would we want people to treat us? How would we want people to to be with us? Maybe they cry with us. Maybe we tell stories with one another. Maybe they pray for us. Maybe they hold our hands. Maybe they just sit there. But we are journeying with them and know that the family is with them. And she says, what about the times that we're joyful? Happy things are happening in our life. Well, don't keep it to ourselves. Share it. Share the joys. Share what's happening. Tell a joke. Tell a story. Sing a song. Do something to share the joyfulness that we have. And we do that in our families. We just don't share the struggles and the difficulties. We share the happy times and the good times and the things that are going. We do that in family. And then she says, what if we move a lot? Then you need to have that sense of family. I come from a family of movers. As many of you know, I grew up in Louisville, Kentucky. I have one sister and her family that still live there. But the rest of us, I have one sister in Texas. I have one sister in Tennessee, a brother here in Ohio. And for myself, I've been in all five of our communities that we've had here. I've been in New York. I've been here in Ohio. I've been in Michigan. I've been in Buffalo, New York. And I've been in Chicago. So the five communities that we had at one point or another, I have been in all of them. And in all those places, I have experienced the love of family in our community and the people gathered around us. And so we are to be this family. And we know as one another as family. We know what happens. People will tell us. You know that person that sits in that fourth pew over here? You know, because I don't know who they always are. But it was the saying, this happened in their family. Well, we understand that. They call us up and tell us, just as we would call up one another's family. 
And so we are sharing those opportunities. So what we are called to do today is to share the word of God, share the compassion of Christ. Be the ones who are the leaders. Be the ones who share the message. Share the teaching and not just read the scriptures. Let's not be people of prayer. Just not be ones who uh, come to church on Sunday, but to take what we are in our love and our compassion with the Lord and bring it into our daily lives. Now, one of the ways we can do that is we're coming with our annual food drive that comes from the Lions Club as well as the Knights of Columbus. And in the back, in the vestibule, you will find some bags. They're not all this color. So if you don't like black, you can find a color that you like. And you put it on there, and they ask you to fill it up with food items. If you don't want to take a bag with you and you decide later, get a grocery bag. There's grocery bags back there. We ask that you bring the bag back at some time before December 5th. Now, a little note I had says December 5th. This says December 7th. So bring it on the 6th and you'll be okay. (laughs) All right? So bring it in the back at any time because we're here and we will check them out. We have a hall underneath this chapel and it gets filled every year. We've been doing this even before I left. We were doing this with the Knights of Columbus. People come and we hand out this food and helps people. They are our family. They are people that need our help and assistance, so pick up a bag. It also says if you can't give a donation uh, in terms of food and you'd like to give some monetary contribution to buy food, uh, that information is here as well. So pick up one of these on your way out. Those who are on our ecumenical channel, you can stop by, you can contact us, and we'll try to get that information to you. This is helping. This is family. This is what we are called to do. And that's what we are called and challenged to do this week and every week of our lives. Thank you. Let us stand together now and share our profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Heavenly Father, you show us the path to life. Trusting in your goodness, we offer our prayers and petitions. For the church, that we may make God central in our lives and allow our hearts to be formed by Christ, our teacher. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For freedom from religious intolerance that God will help us to recognize that all good and true in the religious practices of others, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all who are bound by addictions that God will free them and lead them to the newness in life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for members of Congress, that God will give them insight as they struggle to balance the demands of the economy, of security, and of the needs of the vulnerable and the powerless, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all who have fled warfare and violence, that God will give them strength, 
Help them as they make a new beginning and free them from hatred and revenge. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all who have died, especially the victims in New York and Colorado, that they may experience the loving embrace of God and live the joy of God's presence forever, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And as we pray this Mass, let us remember Joseph Anda. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious and loving God, we hear our prayers and continue to lead us along the path of mercy, love, and life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of our hands. The praise and glory of his name, our good and good of all his holy church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation, and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim.
Eucharistic prayer number three. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. In giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Paul and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and the salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and in charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace of Christ with you. Peace of Christ with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, and blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. 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 Amazing grace. How sweet. It saved a wretch like me. Taught my heart to fear and grace. 
Has promised the body of Christ good to me. The body of Christ. His word. The body of Christ. My hope secures. He will my shield and Oh. Uh-huh. 
Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise. Through Christ our Lord, amen. amen. We thank all of you for joining us here in our St. Paul's Chapel. Those joining us over Ecumenical Channel, we thank our musicians, our readers, all the technical aspects. Just a reminder, pick up a bag on your way out for our food drive. Uh, drop it off in the back of our chapel here. If you're visiting with us over our Ecumenical Channel, you can send it, drive out, drop it off in the back of the chapel. The chapel's the big building, the main building at St. Paul's here. So we're, we need your help, we need your assistance. So please pick one up at the, as you go out this morning. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Wealth can be an idol built of gleaming gold. Bringing dreams of paradise, a future's bought and sold. Some will choose to gather it, all that they can hoard. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Pleasure is a siren, promising the flesh. 